Huge Saints news. Off-season questions abound. It's a big show tonight. Ralph, hang on a second. <laughs> I, it, we're, we're, I don't care what's happening. I don't care if Drew Brees bought the team. <laughs> we are going to talk about there your ridiculous outfit, your ridiculous appearance on that Saints documentary. We've got jokes. Thomas, hit the intro. <laughs> Welcome to the award-winning Saints Happy Hour podcast. Seriously, this podcast has won awards. American standards are dropping every day. The show features Ralph, the best host in the world, who can barely pronounce his own name, much less anyone else's. Marcus Colson, Colston, I mean, uh, Marcus Calloway. Dave is that dude who loves taking bathroom breaks. He's mad about almost anything, so make sure to lower your volume when he speaks. Put that freaking clown meme back up that I made. Jesus Christ. Andrew has sources, watches tapes, and knows football. He rarely shows up on time and wants to commit crimes to help the Saints win. Sean Payton would have done illegal things. Don't tell me I'm wrong, because you know it's true. Oh, and there's also Kevin, who is great at doing mock drafts, but struggles to actually watch Saints games or have a functioning relationship. Budrich wants to know how uh, the doctor's doing. That that ended. Anyway, grab a drink, sit back, and enjoy the insanity. <laughs> All right, everybody, welcome to another edition of Saints Happy Hour Podcast. I'm Ralph Marlboro. I'm joined by Dave, Kevin, Andrew. Also, hello to everybody in the live stream. We got a ton of people tonight. Uh, Budrich, Aldi Mourinho, Jerry, Hudak Golfer, Jason Champagne, Purveyor of Awesome, Andrew's Dad, J uh, J let's see, who else? Brent and Lafayette, your boy Allen, uh, just a ton of people. They're all uh, probably here for my snazzy outfit. Mm -hmm. uh, tonight's yeah. show, uh, everybody's just going to make fun of my appearance on the TNT. Well, let me say know. this, Ralph. You, you want to start donating now because we have a special yeah. thing tonight. That's all right? right. Not only does Ralph have shots, which he always has, but if we hit the first threshold... Ralph is going to take a shot of something awful. Show everyone the disgusting things that you have today, I Ralph. Have Fireball. Oof. And Bosca Drapur, which is Okay. Disgusting. So you might be thinking, all right, well, Ralph takes a shot if we hit the donation threshold. That's like every other show. What's the big deal? If we hit the second threshold, he's going to unzip that polo. Kevin <laughs> takes a shot. Kevin, show everyone what your options are. Okay, so uh, screwball peanut butter whiskey. Also probably delicious. I have no idea. And then Sousa Hacienda Blue Agave Tequila Silver. Woo! Uh, Kaiser those normal, Sousa. Those are normal liquors. And, and if we hit the third donation threshold, then they both do the second one. Yeah. How about that? Mm -hmm. Wow. Sally, yeah, I need help. Well, are we doing, are we doing a Q&A after this? Uh, no, we, we, oh, okay. we, we got, we fell behind. We, we got a Q and a in the chamber for the peoples. Got it. Um, so Andrew just explained the donations. Um, but the, you donate, you get to be in the MVP contest. The MVP we, winner from every week gets entered into the drawing and the winner gets oh, to go to the same That's Ryan. <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> Coming in hot like Jay Keener. Saints Rabbit, 28 to free and uh, having the occasion. Also, thanks to Purvey of Awesome for subscribing for free with Prime for 8 straight months and to Badrich for subscribing for 33 straight months with donation message. Moving back to Louisiana next week. Damn, Badrich. Thank Let you, me play the game. People know how to donate. Um, I'm, drinking, um, I'm drinking a uh, Shiner Shandy. It's delicious. Oh, you're uh, Dave, what are you more drinking? more than that. <laughs> I'm drinking a Parlo Beer Lab Double India Pale Ale Chromatic Harmony Parlo Beer Lab. Shout out to my buddy Eric who owns Parlo. Yeah, he does a great go. job there. Kevin, are you drinking anything before you start the drinking? Uh, no, I am uh, preparing. All right. <laughs> Facing. Andrew? Uh, I just got back from a big dinner at Vivace, good, good old Italian place, slightly better than Olive Garden. Um, yeah, and I, sure. I, had, I had a Tuesday, glass of Tuesday night. A, what's, why, 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 what's the celebration? No, we did no so uh, just summer. Just, just kids like, like let's cooking. go to dinner for summer, and we didn't feel like cooking. So uh, I had a 
I had a uh, chocolate martini. I don't know why. Boo. And and then I had a uh, glass of red wine. So and, and just like a, a gut bomb of food. So I'm I'm currently <laughs> uh, I'm currently pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The Saints have news. We'll get to that. Uh, but let's start where everybody's here. What everybody's here for. Uh, I guess we'll just show them the clip, Thomas. Show them the clip of me. So if you haven't seen it, TNT. I mean, we all. With Andrew, well, I, I, have, well, I, have, I have a question. I haven't Andrew? seen it yet. I are you being serious? Either. Yeah, I haven't yeah. seen Wait, it. Are you guys being serious? I was watching yeah. it live with Ralph. I was tweeting. <laughs> I thought Kevin was watching it. I knew Andrew I wasn't anyone. responding. Oh, my God. I knew Andrew wasn't responding, so I assumed he wasn't. You guys haven't watched this yet? No. You're, you're, you're like I dearest friend. Your dearest friend was featured prominently uh, on a cable television episode. Cable. Oh, my God. I was go, to, go to the library. The... Rent it from the <laughs> library. <laughs> Rent it from the library. <laughs> so, well, this will be a first time for Andrew and Kevin. Uh, so here's the thing. Me and Tom. I'll watch it this week. Full disclosure. TNT has some sort of anti-pirating thing. Me and me and Thomas, we couldn't get a good version of the clip. I had to record it with my phone uh, so everybody could <laughs> it's not see that terrible. it. It's not that terrible. It's not that terrible. Thomas, play. Why does it look so bad? It didn't look like this on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is like the bootleg version. <laughs> I've loved the Saints since I've been seven years old. I grew up in New Orleans, and the thing you have to remember about the Saints, they were as My head bad is so fat. Look at that. <laughs> My head is so fat. Look at those fingers. Look at them. The <laughs> They're going every which way. <laughs> They're going hey, every which talk. way. And showed up no, no, you don't love cable. On their heads. Rooting for the Saints. Oh, deception! Oh, deception. Wow. Wow. Matt Ryan! I'm pledging 28.30 to provide aid to the helpless Falcons fans. Then 20.3 rage. Thank you. So Thomas, go back and pause it on me in the full screen so people can see the full effect of the of Let's the, see the uh, fingers. The Let's see, oh, come on. No, that makes them look normal. Ralph's hands, Ralph's fingers look like Tory Holt and Brian Baldinger had a, a love child. Look at this. Look at this. Look at <laughs> yeah, yeah, Brian Baldinger. Oh uh, man, look at you his look right. Just like his them. right pinky is like going it's, off in two different directions. His right pinky does not want to be part of the rest of his hand. <laughs> yeah, and uh, Tory Holt. Tory Holt's. Let's see. His left ring finger uh, took the low road, while the rest of his hand <laughs> is taking the high road. Um, his left-handed pinky anyway. is also taken. Taking an alternate route. I uh, well, since I'm the only one, right, we gotta besides, go to the. No the wait, chat. no wait, wait. Go since ahead. I'm well, since I'm the only one who watched this, other than Ralph, of course. Uh, it was funny. I didn't realize it was coming on on whatever night. What was that? Friday night, Saturday night, TNT. and I actually had a friend over, and uh, he came over late, and I was like, you know what? That's fine. You can come over late because I'm planning to stay up late to watch this. Uh, and I was first of all, I was surprised if you were taking bets. I would have said no Ralph whatsoever. Um, <laughs> yeah. I would have I would have said no way and color me sh shocked out of the when, gate. Yes, when the whole show <laughs> just opens and like I am I'm not I'm not kidding you and I'm not exaggerating like the first 15 minutes the first 10 to 15 minutes of the episode was like laying the groundwork of like the Saints history and like the Super Bowl season leading up to uh the Bounty Gate year and like Ralph was was practically like the narrator for like those he's, first he's the star of, of the minutes. show. Seriously, yeah. I'm not kidding. He he was kind of really the narrator for most of it. Uh, they brought on Larry Holder. Did, did did they interview Jeff Duncan? Did you say they interviewed they did, Jeff Duncan? I didn't see Jeff Duncan. In no, I know they. That's what I was going to say. I was I didn't know who they because if well, they it did no interview surprise, Jeff Duncan, he was they, not in it. They, ah, so they, they interviewed the Jeff Duncan and two other guys, and not knowing anything about the Saints, they were like, "Yeah, that Jeff Duncan guy's inferior to everyone else." I mean, how poorly Shocker. was he dressed? If how he dressed, if they interviewed him and didn't use him, and maybe his <laughs> wife should maybe his wife should address them. <laughs> well, so no, that's, see, that's no, 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 my point. wife does. She I, wants um, to be. She wants. She claims innocence. She said, "I sent you with four outfits." Yo, wait, now the story is changing. You said three originally, now three, it's four. They, three. They sent me with oh, okay. three, and they combined two of them, and my wife said that I wouldn't have done it. Oh. That. 
I wouldn't have Okay, well, my first question was going to be is how bad were the other two that they didn't pick uh, if this was the one that won? But uh, I didn't realize so they combined two. They combined this is crazy. Two. First of all, like, sh- well, I don't know why Selly sent you with three outfits. Like, look. Wait, wait, when, your you, wife- when you, hold on a second. When they say, when you say they combined them, they picked what you wore? That's right. See, that's weird. These? I don't that's understand. Right. <laughs> You mean that's the right. panties your mother laid out for you? <laughs> that's just, that's weird. Yeah. Like, it's weird that they told you what to wear. Like, I, there's that's no true. way that they told Larry Holder what to wear. There's no way that they told. No um, chance. Yeah, there's no way that they told. Uh, who was it? Nate Silver? Was that who were the other? Who was the. the sp- it was a guy from Sports Illustrated, I think. Mike Silver. Mike Silver, right? He's a Sports, Sports Illustrated guy? He is. Well, he was. Uh, yeah, yeah, he was. He's not AI, so he's he got. They're only using AI now. Um, uh, there's no way that Mike. I like. Y- did you ask them what to wear? See, that's the problem. You you got you just you just wear what you're gonna wear, okay? And first of all, like if I was doing this and my wife and input from your wife, that's totally normal. I'm not I'm not gonna. I'm not going to dish you on that. Like my wife would probably definitely pick out everything that I was going to wear if I was going to appear on a cable television show, but she would just pick out the one thing and she would say, you're wearing this. What's with the options? Why, why, yeah. why did she give you options? Yeah, why did you present options? Did they yeah. ask for options? They did. I believe what? I did. Get out of here. They did. Believe, they did ask for, you know, Dave, you said I looked like a, a person working at Dick's, and then I was going to go to church, at the, a mega church. After <laughs> somebody in the chat said, "I look like I'm going to play. I'm going to, I'm going to play golf with Dave, and then go to a job interview after." No, do you no, think? I, do you think they asked for this because they saw Ralph's pictures on Twitter, and they're like, "Yeah, we're going to need some we options." We got, yeah, we we need stuff Dave. to work with. We need options. Whereas, like, they looked at Larry Holder, and they're like, "Oh yeah, it'll be fine." Yeah. And they didn't. They didn't even <laughs> mess with his attire at all. That's probably. What I happened. said Ralph looks like he's delivering a tape testimonial for a <laughs> Sunday morning megachurch pastor who cured his gout. <laughs> and then and I would just say, Ralph, an Undertaker wouldn't bury you in that. Um, they said Butter says they just saw a cripple and said we need to make him look decent. We have ninety seconds. If they had seen the Moobs picture from Paris, they definitely would they not would have, have interviewed you. What? What? Here's the thing. I said, what would have been? A, what's the worst outcome? Me looking terrible, or not using me at all? And they use me a ton. So, Dave, I, 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 I cede the floor to you. Like, did I come out okay in the end, or did I? Was it? Would I? Would I have been better off them not using me at all? No, you can't. You came out fine. Like anybody who doesn't know, like the, 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 the. Point zero zero five percent of people that are watching this uh, that know you are just going to laugh at you. And honestly, it doesn't matter what you wore, what you said. Like uh, we would have laughed at you anyway. Uh, and everybody else, there, there. It's it, this is something that would go totally unnoticed. And and I also thought you got a good edit. I thought you got a good edit. I thought they made you sound great. You know, Coherent. you weren't bumbling or stumbling or Say that out. Uh, I, I, I thought you did. Oh, I my you did God. Get we'll <laughs> drink for bits. I know. If only Shout they out knew. Your boy Alan. They, oh, no, nice job of them adding an R to my name like everyone else in my entire life. Oh, I didn't even notice <laughs> that. I didn't even notice that. They spelled it wrong. They, they screwed up. They, I you, got you got Ralph. You got Ralph. You got Ralph on a national telecast. That's right. They went full Good Ralph, Lord. man. I didn't know that people know. and Dave, I have to say people, they did notice. I, I, I had a lot of people say you did yourself proud, but I can't overlook the oh, choices. How about two it. shots at once? Wow. Andre Joe 20.3 is getting hot at the top We're for the MVP away. race. Yeah. A dime? Oh God. Yeah, yeah, a literally. dime away from Ralph drinking. A fireball and you and you no, right no it's ralph is the first one then when we get to 180 then it's me then if we get to 240 oh oh, oh. then it's oh, the- oh are you doing this are you doing this because you started to feel bad for ralph and you're trying to take some of no the- <laughs> some no, I of the- the no i just decided that i was gonna I owed i owed one but then uh i got talked into just doing this as part of the 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 donation thing so i just said all right fine you're worried about liver disease you're you're trying to take some of the liver disease seat for yourself kev by the time you need a cirrhosis bomb 
By the time me and you need a liver, Kevin, they'll be growing livers like they grow that meat in a lab. <laughs> And it'll just, you just like pick it off. You'll just pick it off a shelf. You'll be like, I'll take, I'll take the, I'll take the 18 year old liver. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. It's It's kind of gamey. So Dave, you, you watched it. As we put a bow on, on making fun of me. I'm going to make my son watch it. How? It was okay. It was, but I felt like only 45 minutes. Like they didn't, it wasn't their, their whole concept is to tie everything to money. And like Bounty, I don't know. Like I felt it was just okay. Like I wish they would have. Right. They kept putting like people's salaries. Oh, the deception! You know. Matt Ryan. <laughs> Cheers to Ralph's documentary contributions. Wow. Shots. I'm just shots. A... shots. Yeah, well, I don't know. Twenty-eight point three. All right, Alan, you gotta tell him which one he's drinking. Forty-three yeah, no. straight Not the months. Fireball. Uh, week, sorry. The other one. The Basca, Rasul. Yeah, Fireball this isn't even a choice. Basque? Isn't that, wasn't that the name of the one of the bounty hunters in Empire Strikes Back? Yeah, I feel like this is like a poison they give people on Game of Thrones. <laughs> um, so you tell me what it is. What, what, I, I, we I don't have know. a it's, four-way it's, tie at the top for the MVP, by the way. <laughs> so so what's Am I be? one of those four? Yeah. Okay, what? then go ahead and drink the non-fireball. All right. Yeah, thank you. I guess uh, Saints Rabbit was the first to donate twenty eight point three, so he okay. should have chosen. Both. He would. We know Saints Rabbit, and he would. Oh, pick the same thing. I forgot exactly. this. Exactly. I forgot how bad this is. It tastes like. Uh, Fuck what do you, you call? Andre what do you call the? What do you call the thing that when you were a kid and you and you did a paper whiteout? It smells like whiteout. Mm. Oh, Jesus, that's not good. No. Not. Now, Kevin, while he's doing that, remind us what our options are for you next. I want to prepare. Screwball peanut butter whiskey. Right. Yeah, screwball peanut butter And a tequila, whiskey. right? And a tequila. Yeah. And then, yeah, something called Sousa Hacienda Tequila Silver. Ooh, sounds fancy. Mm. All right, here we go. Mm. Here we go. There you go. Go for it, Ralph. He did take that like a champ. I'll give him that. Whew. So while he... <sighs> With that Mom jacket, is- he, he sounds like a studio exec in the 80s. <laughs> Sally, I need don't, help. Don't worry. That suit's only worth 20 bucks, Ralph. It's fine. While, if you, while, you while, he's, while he's quiet. So here's my thing is like, you don't wear a jacket with a polo shirt. Like you, you, you right. don't just wear the polo shirt. Is that even a, a polo shirt? shirt? It looks like it has a zipper. It no, it is. It is a polo shirt. It has, it's a quarter I mean, zip so, gentlemen. It's a quarter nine, zip polo? Nine. Thomas, yeah, no, that's horrendous. I know. It's so like the European malort. Like, oh, what's like the only European person I've ever the only person oh. I've ever seen that could wear a quarter zip polo is Tiger Woods. Like it, it looks like that was on sale at the Gonzalez right. Nike outlet. Yeah, or a head basketball coach. It's, that's from the Sunday. Been. That's from the Sunday Red collection. It, it might have been Dave. I don't know. Like what the hell? I don't even own. I, I my entire wardrobe is polo shirts, and I play golf every right. day. And not one of them has a, is a zippered polo. With the I way should've... that with the way that zipper looks, Ralph looks like the rich man's Joe Bob Briggs. <laughs> Except instead of showing like bad horror movies, he just shows terrible Bobby A Bear games so he can come back from commercial and rip him a new one. <laughs> I don't get that reference. I, I don't know who that is. No. Well. Five of you probably will yeah, get here that right. get that reference. So, uh, Open Harbor yeah. says, Dave, your wife, ha- your wife has to dress you because you wear a Tulane suit to all events. That's mm. accurate, actually. Mm. Wearing, a, wearing a Fear the Wave collective shirt who, right your now. Your boy uh, Alan wants to know, Dave, wants who, is, to donate. who is dressed worse, me or Cam Newton? Uh, oh, I'm the yes. desk. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Well, it would have been cooler if you had if you were smoking something or maybe like popping a Zin or something. Yeah, because uh, Cam Newton alphaed all of you with that cigar he had and the hat while he yeah. while he was I doing this. I should have had, should have, I should have said Ma- Ralph Marlboro and like smoked the Marlboro Reds. That would have been. <laughs> That's what I love about this whole thing, though, is that it's it's you and Cam, you and Cam Newton share the screen. Uh, and it really is a question of, of who upstage too. Uh, it is. Do you have an IMDb page now? If I look up your I name? might. I don't know. I don't have to spell it wrong. Though. No way. <laughs> I have to say, I, I hope we have some new listeners because I got, 
I got like there's nobody there's no way somebody watched that show and was like, hey, I want to find this guy's podcast and start listening to it. Maybe. No I mean, I got in I got inundated three different Denver sports stations wanted to talk to me. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> They, want, they just, dude. Denver hates Free. Sean Payton. They are t- they're. Uh, so they're, did you agree to him? I did. I've done two of them. Uh, Denver. <laughs> Denver hates Sean Payton. That's my takeaway. They're, they're, they're gonna not, like him. They're gonna like him when he starts winning. Nah, um, when not with Pat Mahomes in that division. Um. So. All right. So we are seventy-one dollars eighty cents away from me drinking. Right. Yeah. Somebody says we need to get no, me. No, a... no, no, no. It's not two hundred. It's eighty. So mm. it's one eighty. So yeah. we are fifty one dollars, fifty one dollars eighty cents away. All right, Kevin, get to always it, doing the math. Yeah. The exact so that math. Was a, Ralph, what is the Great Scott Show? The Great Scott Show. That was a uh, that was my buddy in Lafayette, oh, okay, Scott well, Prather. Yeah. He's come on and filled in for. Uh, yeah, you know so. Scott. Scott yeah. Prather. He's been like when we need. Oh, when yeah, he's yeah, been yeah. on. Well, he's our, been like twice on the main all show. All of that is on IMDb. He's, he's our number. He's IMDb. our number one. Re, re, I have IMDb. I need. You know what people need to do? People need to make me a wiki page. That's what you people need to do <laughs> in your spare time. Oh, make me a wiki deception. Page. Matt Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep this rig rolling. Who that go for a 20.3 and with five way tie at the top for Thank the MVP? You. Holy shit. So, what do you mean who I'm that not golfer? Out? So, let's who get that golfer. To... I shot a 76. Wow. Uh, the other day. So, let's get to actual Saints news. Um, we had actual Saints news. And remember the rule, the Ralph rule is whenever the Saints have news in after the draft, 90% of the time, it's bad. And it was uh, Tanel Passanyao. Did I say that right? No, not, not even. Uh, he had a ruptured Achilles, according to DA. Uh, he's out indefinitely. I don't know when. They didn't, he didn't do it today. DA kind of hinted that it like happened sometime during the offseason. Um, what is that? Did it happen during practice? Like during no. a Saints? Doesn't sound so, like it did. Doesn't sound but like he, it. But he, I mean, he, he, didn't, he didn't, you know. A pine. Is, is there going to be any issue with this? Like, is this going to? Yeah, did he do it like contract? on a jet ski, and the Saints will yeah, try to claw back yeah, like yeah. the eighteen dollars that they owe right. him? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Um, no, but it's but that injury kind of low key sucks. You know, it's not that Passanio was going to be like a guy that was going to transform into a really good player or anything this year. But uh, well, Ralph, I'll let you tell everyone your comparison in a second, which was I think pretty spot on, but. You know, he was just like a sub where, you know, if Cam Jordan needed a breath or Granderson or Chase Young got hurt or whatever, he was just a veteran that was in the mix that you knew would make the team. And, you know, honestly, if he didn't make the team, then you're like, oh, great. Peyton Turner and Foskey figured it out and they're playing great. And, you know, like so he's kind of like a baseline for you that if he's cut, you're like, okay, that means a lot of our young like prospects with potential are doing pretty well. And also, like, he's a guy that you can throw in there. You know it's not going to be a disaster. And Passanio, the last few years, have, has always had, like, that one game where he cooks someone and he gets a couple sacks, you know, and he tears it up. So, uh, I, I, you know, be, we, we were worried about defensive end going into the season, um, mitigated somewhat by the Chase Young signing, but, like, this is low-key kind of shitty. I mean, when you have, when, Kevin, when you only have 34 sacks on the year, when you remove three and a half of them, <laughs> it's not good. Of your sacks. That's ten yeah, percent. It's not good. We just lost ten percent of our sack yeah. section. Yeah, but he's like Willie Whitehead because you can play him everywhere. Um, but Kevin, is, is, are the vibes starting That's to go good, bad? A good comparison. Are the vibes starting to go bad for the Saints, Kevin? I would look. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be. If you've heard me three weeks ago, you heard me six weeks ago, and you've heard me now. Six years ago. I have not been excited uh, about the team since the draft. So this is just like another thing that now I've got to worry about, where it's like, look, I hope Foskey steps it up and and suddenly can be like the the uh, the real good number 2 guy 
for either Jordan or Granderson. Like, I know they signed Chase Young, but I'm worried about how much production they're going to get out of the guy with the coming off the uh, the, the neck injury. So I, I want Foskey to, to, to take that leap and, and become, become a guy. Like, I have little hope or expectation for Peyton Turner. Uh, the vibes are bad with Peyton Turner. Could for me, so Dave could. I want to be surprised. I want to be. I, I want. I want to come in here week seven, week eight, <laughs> and have all three of you guys clowning me, saying, "Oh my God, you were worried about the defensive line. The defensive line is playing great. Chase Young has been a tremendous investment. Foskey stepped up. Even Peyton Turner got a couple of sacks. I have no idea how how he's." flip the script or whatever it is. Uh, like, I want to be wrong. I want to be wrong. Dave, more likely, Peyton Turner and Isaiah Foskey combined for the three and a half sacks that Passanyao had, or I learned to dress better for my Channel 4 morning spots on Monday after Saints games. <laughs> the former. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what was the first one again? Fossey, Fossey, yeah. and, and Turner have Turner. to combine, combine for three and a half, and a half sacks. sacks. God. Well, I mean, Peyton Turner's Fos- out for the year as of week one, most likely. So basically, yeah, Fossey, Fossey has to get yeah. three and a half sacks. That's, yeah. that's where I was exactly. That's where I was going yeah. with that. Peyton Turner uh, might get one sack in week 18. But still, I still take the former. Still better, better chance. Yeah, better odds, yeah. So um, are we, are you going to, are you going to take my suggestion and after tonight's show, Take that out, take the shirt and the jacket over to Michael's and have them frame that up real nice and put uh, it like in, in a box thing. Yeah. And put it put it behind me. Yeah. Uh I mean probably we could auction it off. We could. We could it could be it could be the it could be the next the next season's off season. I don't know uh, what's worth. Did they tell you no, to zip fine. the quarter zip of the collar all I the way up? To I know the what top? Ha- I know. I see I I, ne- don't, I don't remember. Is it sexier oh when I unzip it? Well, I mean, oh my God! Thank God you didn't do that. Why do you look at the, the, the options are aren't all the way up or all this the way is down? Happening? Loop up, Jesus! <laughs> yeah, go job. halfway. What happens if you go a little bit? Loop up, bro. Just the tip. It's like that. It's like those ladies in Cannonball you Run. Come, you best <laughs> come hard, Adrian Barbeau. Yeah, yeah Adrian Barbeau. And I can't remember the Daisy Dukes. Name, but- is it, she, she is it too late to submit this for the best podcast award? Uh, show? It is, unfortunately. <laughs> mm. um, Start clipping for next year. Here, here's a question, and, and I, Kevin, you can answer, but I want everybody to answer because I think this is interesting. Saints have like 5.7 million in cap space. If you were going to spend on one item, right? Like you can add one guy because you, because you get in this time of year. Even the, yeah. the Justin Simmons at safety or did, whoever's left, whoever's out there. It's probably so you want me cost to name you. a specific guy? You don't need to name a specific guy. But if I said, listen, you can spend it all, but you got to pick one position for the Saints on, de- on defense now. You can't go offensive oh. line. One position on defense now with the Passanyao injury. Where are you spending? Are you spending on defensive end, defensive tackle, safety? Where are you going with the – with, if you're gonna if you're gonna spend all the rest of the cap space, well, let's see. Um, you don't forget, fun. you're really not happy with their offensive line. I, I'm really not happy with the way Ralph says passing you. For the record, <laughs> like, keep going. Well, uh, honestly, every time I see the name spelled out, I keep hearing the cap commercial. Passagnon. I keep hearing cap <laughs> what what heritage? What 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 background? I think, I think he's Haitian. I want to say Haitian. Oh, okay. Okay. Hmm. We also we also need Ralph like what twenty bucks more so de that... correctement. Okay. Make it happen, so... people. Um, oh yeah. Well, does Haitian? Don't they speak French? Is that a, is it a different? They, they do. They speak, they speak French. Hmm. Yeah. You know what? I... God. We need twenty four bucks. Twenty four. I need. The cost of this. I'm afraid. See, I'm afraid. The second <laughs> I say one thing, Lattimore is going to get traded. <laughs> oh, so, I was wrong. I'm sorry. Passanio is the son of a uh, Ivorian uh, I, and U- I've, Ugandan I've, parents, I've, so oh, you can play I, the "Welcome oh. to Uganda" sound clip. But oh. so. uh, Ivory Coast. 
Ivory, yeah. Ivory oh, Coast. Cote d'Ivoire. Yeah, but how do you say Cote How do you say Ivorian? Is it Ivorian? They speak. I don't know. Your dad says they speak French. Ivoirian? That's Haiti. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Welcome to Uganda. There Your boy is. Alan says if there's another Saints documentary in my future, we need to hear from the cat. Uh, they oh, better right, get on they, right. They better did get the on cat, that. Did the cat make the documentary? No, they no. Where, where did they record that? That's where a miss. Uh, they were recording it at a, at a restaurant on yes. I forget where on Ferret no. Street. Wait, what? Really? Yeah. yeah. What right restaurant? Off Battery Road. Midway. No, it was a. It was a. It was like a Jamaican or. Off Metairie Road? No, no off, off Ferret Street. Uganda. Oh, oh. No, hey, Dave, it was two. Jamaican. It was two years ago. I, I no, I know I, that. I totally it forgot about it until I saw the commercial. I was like, Hi Hat, Ancora. It wasn't Jamaican. There's no Jamaican rest. That's been Jamaican. What is? What kind of food is Ancora? Pizza. Pizza. No, no, it wasn't Italian. <laughs> the hilarious. Ralph says. R- Ralph Ralph says Ralph's recollection is totally pizza. unreliable That's here. Right. Yeah, Ralph's Bows. a very unreliable narrator. Aldi Mourinho says, I need to hold the cat like Blofeld in a bond. I mean, movie. It, it was probably in Algiers, Dave. <laughs> it might have been. Yeah, wait, on Ferret Street? It's in St. Bernard Parish. I know. Maybe. You know what? Dave Figs and Morant. My memory is not good, Dave. It, oh might, it might have been in my garage. They might have <laughs> just. In Houston. Come on, Dave. <laughs> no, they. they... They, they, they asked me, where did they want me to fly to to do the interview? They're like, you can fly to New Orleans or you can fly to Miami. And I was like, well, fly me to my no- New Orleans. And my wife was like, now I- dumbass, why didn't you go to Miami? I'm like, and, I'm do, saying and do what by myself for a day? But bang some, some, Ra- Ralph bang, on South bang Beach. some Miami chicks from yeah. the South Beach. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. No, I want to see Ralph in that outfit playing dominoes with yeah. the old Cuban men. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't go to Miami in that outfit, bro. You would slay. You would slay. <laughs> um, leave, thought, leave, leave some for the rest of us, Ralph. If we, as we try to get back to actual Saints content, I, we, think, I thought we were done. I well, I said, I said defensive back. I said defensive back. So Justin there. Simmons is my aunt. I, want, I don't like, even remember the like, question. Like, here's the thing. They are strong at corner. And Andrew, I look at safety. Toronto, if if Honey Badger falls off a cliff or gets old, safety's not great. Yeah. So go and get Justin Simmons from Denver. Like, Wait, what was the question? You can't go defensive line. You can't no, go off. You can't go has offensive to be line. A position on defense. And yes. You, well, why would you get defensive end after losing passing you? I don't know. Like you could just. Think about at making a strength stronger and just roll with what you got at defensive line. I'm going um, defensive end. Okay. Yeah, right. I mean, hey, you. I don't trust Peyton Turner, and I don't trust Fosky. Mm. Fosky Honestly, man. if you told me right now I was losing one of those three, Passanio and the two younger players, I would say take one of the younger players off the roster. Seriously, really? Yeah. I mean, Peyton Turner, we've never seen him. Like, what would be another, yeah. another, another yeah. season Whatever. as an injury for him? Like, I don't... You, you can't miss something you never had. Dude, your boy Alan says that he looks like I, I should be doing, a, doing a line of Coke in this outfit. I'm, really? No. I, feel like I don't, don't think you good. can afford Coke if you're <laughs> yeah, you right. twenty four dollars wearing that suit. If, I, it's right. Right. if I bought it, it's funeral probably... directors. Funeral directors usually can't afford Coke. If I bought, if I bought Coke wearing this, it's probably be a mixture of Comet and 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 powdered sugar. <laughs> That's right. It's, home, it's homemade cocaine. Dave, <laughs> hey, you never set a position. Oh, am Aldi, I, Mar- I don't know. Aldi I'm, with, I'm, I'm with Andrew D line. He said it's right. only the first and second draft pick, right? A first round pick in Peyton Turner and a second round pick in Fosky. Um, they, I said I heard that Fosky looked good today. He was doing stuff without the pads on. Yeah, I'm just saying. Right. So Rob, excited. So, so where, yeah, Evan? People must really not want to see you drink, huh? I know. Nope, apparently not. I guess not. Apparently they, not. They're, they're, so, they're worried about you, Kevin. We got a love update. Anything quick? Throw quick Kevin's update. liver to the dogs. And get him yeah, back. maybe after the love him. update, they'll be like, God, please. Show, them, them, a, show, them, again, show them again what's in store, Kevin. All right. Sousa? S-A-U-Z-A. Hacienda. That's what you'll be taking. Wow. Tequila. Hacienda. I, I really don't that's drink that, tequila. That means percentage right? by volume, please. 
Uh, forty. Let's see. I can't. I can't. Where I don't know where you're like Ralph. Be. Jesus. Jesus. I don't know people. where it would be, guys. That's oh, the meanest thing hey, you've ever Sally, said. I, I, need drink, I don't drink these little <laughs> brother. I don't drink. Oh, hang on. Okay, forty percent <laughs> alcohol by volume. I told yeah. you. Yeah, fifty okay. milliliters. Right. Hang um, on. screwball peanut butter whiskey is 35. seventy proof. Thirty-five percent. Wow! I wow. nailed it. On it, Dave. Wow. wow! This is. I need to go on the prices right for alcohol. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you in the sorority? The, the booze, booze is right. Is right. Um, was I in a sorority? No, and and I was not in a fraternity either. Oh, well, fraternity. <laughs> Dave's I mean, like, yeah, yeah. that's thirty-four point nine percent by volume. <laughs> Al, Aldi Mourinho says one percent. <laughs> Aldi Mourinho says Ralph look is dressed like a guy who wants to sell me a timeshare. <laughs> <laughs> can i interest you in a hawaiian vacation that you could take any time of year you really do kind of look like that actually um yeah so the love update quickly two weeks quickly. ago two weeks ago <laughs> I, I i met a lady for brunch on I'm get a drink i'm getting a drink says quick and then he wanders off to go get i can hear you, you. Can i'm hear gonna you use the this time to take a okay, drink all Shut right up all right he can hear through the headset fine fine went to meet a lady for brunch we the brunch was okay it was just lukewarm i can't even oh, remember the name God. of the restaurant Wait, when you point. say lukewarm you, are you just talking about the food or the interaction with the woman? no i'm talking about the food no the interaction okay. was great like i showed oh. up she she looked she looked real cute like she just had a she had striking eyes Oh God. Like blue crystal eyes. This like, doesn't end well. Like so her eyes. Sounds we dangerous. go. So we eat. Mm. Uh, we go for a walk in this nearby park. Mm. We're. You're still alive. So that's that's yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's yeah. daylight. So, I mean, you know, there's people about. We stop because there's an old timey baseball game being played. Oof. And we're sitting on a bench, like what? past the outfield, watching this. Like we're the only two people. Was it? In were the they like coming out of the cornfields? <laughs> no, like no, no, Ken no, no, Burns no. baseball. Was yeah, it? And so, dreams? Did you and so accidentally I'm doing step like, out of the set I'm of field like, of dreams? I'm doing like old Ken Burns voice or whatever, or like Three you know, Finger Brown is gonna drop a curveball in there, right? I, or just like, well, you well. Their normal starts. Their normal shortstop is out due to rickets, you know, like stuff like that. <laughs> I'm cracking jokes, and she's laughing at them and stuff. And we're just having like a pretty good back and forth, and conversation got a little deep for about ten or fifteen minutes. Then we went back to doing whatever, and then I just finally told her that I wanted to kiss her, and she was like, <laughs> "Oh God, it was what? So wait, oh. you an- wait, you you verbally announced that you yes. had to kiss her." Yeah. My lady, this is happening. <laughs> Why not? Up. Why? Because you just do it. My lady, no, like, you know, is that, is this, I don't know if that you, is this you dating be, in the meat. Is this dating in yeah, the meat? He's a no, real charmer. That one. Yeah. Is this, yeah. Is this what it's so how about? did she respond? She was fine with it. Like she oh, encouraged. Well, They're gonna so, fuck so, each other oh. next. So <laughs> no, hang on. So we kissed. Thomas, you're the best. We kissed. And things were like nice, and nice. she. And that's the calm before the storm. Oh. So <laughs> she then announces, like we're having a little, we're talking a little more, and then she casually drops that she uh. cannot have children uh. and doesn't want to have children. Uh. After I had already, t- after I had already told her, <laughs> after I had already told her that I wanted to have kids. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And have a family, mm-hmm. so she, it's like she was sort of just acknowledging, like saying out right. loud, like what it was. Wait, so, was this during the makeout <laughs> sesh? Did she like whisper this, this in after, your ear? This was after the. This was after kissing. Okay. Um, walked so, her back to her car like a little later, and then uh, just never seen her again. Messaged her the next day. It was just like yada hey, yada hey. yada. Did she like Didn't whisper wanna, something no. in your ear? I'm so good, you'll never want kids. Like, did she whisper <laughs> something like that no. in your ear? No. Like, what is that? No. Um. <laughs> no. 
Now you got me losing my train of thought. Um, Maybe Kim is the best her, like, the next day and just said I didn't want to ghost her and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And she, she, it was like a really great interaction with the, you know, I'm going was... one way, you're going another. It's best of luck, that kind of stuff. She You'll was never real, want a kid cool. when you're calling me baby all the time. So, so when so when someone tells you I don't want kids, like that's full stop. Like next, yeah. what's the point? Why waste time? Why did yeah. you uh, ask Kevin that to, through tanks? Well, Kevin, in the first Kevin, place, what Kevin, was the long what was the important. long version of that story? No, oh my God. <laughs> 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 this is happening. Loop up. Um, Kevin's. I didn't. I didn't want to. I didn't want to interrupt, and I. So I was. You I, suck it long. Yeah, no, suck no, no. it hard. I didn't want to interrupt. But his, so his, good. Kevin doing his old timey voice. Do you guys remember that one time that one random guy was interviewing Sean Payton, and he was like, he asked that one random old timey question. Uh, do you guys remember that? It, uh, he does it. What was the question? I don't remember. It was like, ah, oh, hey, I. You gotta run. I don't know. Oh, I can't even get Gilly. 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 Time to drink. Kevin. Wow. Here we go. Welcome to the Cavalier. Taking us off the story. Yeah, you definitely need a drink. I do need it. But I want to say this Guillotine RTS says. I once met some random stranger at a Target to pay cash for a Saints playoff ticket. He was real sweaty and dressed just like Ralph. Oh, that was- uh, I thought it was a fake. I thought it was a fake ticket until the scanner turned green. Gambling with your life there. I think that uh, one was Ulrich. Guillotine, thanks for paying me cash. I appreciate. All right, it. I think uh, Kevin's doing tequila, boys. All right, so it's, it's tequila and not the screwball, correct? Yeah, tequila. Yep. Yes. All right. E- Fireball for the people. Well, hang on. Wait, Ralph. You're not you're... doing anything, Ralph. No, no not... guys, don't tell him. Don't tell him. <laughs> he's, he's like he's like a Pavlov's dog. Like he's he hears that train horn. Yeah, he's he like, feels like he's got it. His... Too late. I already <laughs> took it. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm trying to determine what this smells like. I, I need tequila. A... It smells like tequila. Yeah, but I I I. Like I said, I ba- I've rarely ever drank tequila before. Right. That's Sadness right. and bad decisions. <laughs> that's what I'm telling you. That's why I'm telling you. That's what tequila right. tastes like. I miss this. <clears throat> it's tequila. It smells reminiscent of something else. That's the thing. <laughs> All right. Screw it. Going down. You want to? So, you want to get the single? The single box on me, Tomas. <laughs> I got to produce do? my own my own guzzling segment. Oh yeah. boy. Anyway. Probably the only single box no. you'll be getting. <laughs> Ooh. I Dave almost spit out his beer. I was so close to getting him there. Kevin Von. I don't know why I'm the only one it. laughing. I thought that was an underrated joke. <laughs> it was. No. Um. Six. Oh wow. wow. Okay, interesting. So wait. G- All right. How much the money burn, for the for both of them to the take gum. the next one? The burn is not going down. The burn is in the gums. Twenty three. Two eighty three. Total. But how much oh, more? Two, oh, you have to make two eighty three. Shit, I thought it was like another. I thought it dropped twenty. Two eighty three. Two eighty three. Two eighty three. The magical number. Right. I'm gonna update it uh, in a second. So it's a hundred dollars. Dave, right, Dave you're going fucking bonkers with the Marines tonight. Holy so shit, wait, man. So wait, Jeez. Jerry. He says, guys, we need to address the Bobby Abair, Marshawn Lattimore talk. What? Uh, Bobby I, well, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know what that's about. I don't know anything about. All right, it. Listen. This is all you need to know. Did, did Bobby say something inappropriate? Bobby Bear called um, Lattimore a rotten apple and a prima donna. Mm-hmm. Lattimore, if he will go in, in my, he will go right into the Ralph Hall of Fame at his first interview when somebody asks him about Bobby Bear or Bobby Bear says anything to him, say, Bobby, I'll acknowledge your existence when you stop sucking in playoff games next question like bobby a bear i don't want to the only thing bobby a bear knows about cornerback play is watching them intercept his balls and return them for touchdown eric allen playoff game uh i will not i will not have bobby a bear 
slander the best corner in Saints history. I won't put up. Sorry. It's not happening. You, he's, like, also, he's also not totally wrong. Yes, he is. Okay. Like, you do you think, like, what's, but like, what's Latimer, like, I don't, like, Lattimore's difficult. He, he doesn't necessarily like to play hurt or play through injuries, but he's not like a, I don't think he's ever been like a bad guy. Like a rotten, like, I don't think he's a rotten apple. He just doesn't want to, like, he just doesn't want to play when he's like at 90% or whatever. Yeah. I mean, I think part of it's just like when you're trying to build a culture and you want your leaders to be accountable and you're not getting that, that permeates, you know, he, he's setting about it anyway. Kevin, Aldi Mourinho wants to know. He's a great player. You should, you, you it's should a be tough situation. They paid him a lot. He's a great player. You know, it's it's a, it's a tough situation. He, if you're yeah, at 90%, it, you need to be playing. It's nowhere near anyway. the Michael Thomas level of combustible. Kevin, well, I was about to yet? ask. Yet. Michael Thomas hasn't been picked up yet. Yeah. yeah are, you, are you surprised? Kevin, are, you, are you wondering how I do this every single week? No, no, but. Talk I mean, to him after the second shot. <laughs> I don't know. Right. I right. don't know if I could do here's the thing. I can Needs take more donation. That. I could take that. It was, you know, whatever. And I maybe I'll be able to handle this. But you being able to do it week in and Man. week out, that's that's Total disrespect uh, for my own body. Dedication, that's the, disregard. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, disrespect for your own body also. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, I, mean, I will I, say, I will say, just going back to that s- this situation, Bobby's basically like the skip or, or uh, skip Bayless of New Orleans. Like he his whole thing is throwing out hot takes and being re- reactionary. So th- that's kind of like why he has that job. And that's that's like the the persona that he's created right in the media. So right. Isn't that what I, media I would take, I would take a lot of things that Bobby says as always with a huge grain of salt, but he's oh, not totally might, off base. Drunk. I know I'm, I'm, I'm kind of playing both sides of the fence. I guess here, if, if, if Drew Brees had said it, I would have considered it, but Bobby Hebert, I hate him and I'm bitter. He ruined my childhood. I mean, I, I my understanding is that Lattimore and Brees were not on speaking terms. Oh, that's not good. Um, yeah. After, after the Yahoo Finance stuff, people in the I don't chat. Know, I don't know how accurate that is, but that's what I heard. <laughs> Maybe not have swindled him. People in the chat Out are interested money. in talking about <laughs> Taysom. Like, apparently, they've got like a defined role. Um, and people really think, like, Butter just said, if he thinks Taysom is going to feast in Kubiak's system. Um, Will Taysom have better usage under Kubiak than Peter Carmichael? Yes. Um, better Peter than last. Really? I love it. Better I love than it. last year. So? I don't I know. So. Like, I think Kubiak. I, I mean, as better. much as we want to crush Pete Carmichael, like, I don't think Taysom Hill maximization or usage is like the way to go about it. You know what I mean? Like well, I, I'll if die anything, the, I think I Taysom had his best years when Sean. Yeah, Payton I'll left. die on the hill. I'll die on the hill that Peter Carmichael maximized Taysom. And here's the thing: like Taysom's yeah. usage, Kevin. I worry that that like Pete got it exactly right. Like you can divide it up however you want, but you don't want like thirty. How old is the thirty-four year old Taysom? You don't yeah. want him getting like two hundred touches a year. Like you want him in that. 25 catches, 85 runs, 110 touches total for the year. I think that's spot on. Uh, yeah. You know? Uh, and, I and the way the way his t- like his touches are not like Darren Sproles touches or, or yeah. Alave touches, right? I mean, they are violent yeah. touches. Yeah. T- you know, I, I, here's here's what I think it was. He, here's what I mm. here's. Because I'm looking at his numbers from last year and like a couple of prior years. I think it's because it felt predictable Mm -hmm. every time he would come out and get in the shotgun. It's, oh, this this guy, he's just going to run it forward. Yeah. And it's like, I, I think it was just a lack of creativity involving Taysom. I agree. It's not necessarily. It's not necessarily. I'm. I'm willing to alter my my critique here. Here's not here's the thing though. It, it it's number it of touches. Worked. It's still. It was predictable and it worked. <laughs> yeah. 
I don't feel comfortable trying. I don't. F I didn't like it last year. I certainly don't feel comfortable trying it again. When when everybody now should know. Look, if this guy comes in here and takes and lines up in shotgun, he's just running it forward. So put yeah. eight, nine guys in the box and tackle this Utah uh, guy <laughs> and drop him to the ground. Taysom, Taysom having a great year. And the Saints win. I will dunk on Barnwell. I will dunk on Robert Mays. The national media. I had, I had people screaming at me. Robert Mays of The Athletic called the Saints fan the worst fan base on Twitter. Like that's He's how. I, well, but what does that have to do with the team? The, the Saints could I, win the Super Bowl. That 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 could the Saints fans being the worst on Twitter could still be uh, true. That's true. No, <laughs> but but like I saw some of that interaction, and I'm like, why is he reacting? <laughs> why is he swerving so far one way when you sort of react? Like you're trying to like you were trying to say, no man, some of you guys should be taking victory laps. You know what it is, uh, Kevin? You yeah. know what it is? It's the national the national media has a they they have a default thing when you are discussing your team with them and you're yeah. kind of disagreeing with them, they always default to the you want me to pump up your team oh, and give, give, give your team credit. Matt and Ryan. I was about that. I was just like, <laughs> Let's make this double shooter happen. Wow. Andre Drew, 28.3, wow. becoming the new MVP leader. Wow. All right, we are... Dude, you have to sit with me in the pores if you win the... If you win the MVP, if you win it, you have to sit with me in the... With the... With the what do you call it, Kevin? The riffraff? No, yeah, last riff time I won something with the spinning wheel, uh, you you refused to give it to no, me. No, that was That's different. Never this happened. time I want you to sit with me. Because it's fake news. Fake news. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah, but Ralph, Ralph, you just know Juge is going to bring his diamond-encrusted binoculars on the stick <laughs> that he takes to his <laughs> box seats in the opera, and he's just going to casually whip those huh. out and be like, Oh, I say. Oh, I, I say, say Ralphus. I say. Dennis Allen is running the five two two. It's it's incredible. Um, All right, um, so we are sixty nine dollars and ninety cents away. away from the so goal. Nice. Sixty nine. Sixty nine. Mm. So, um, Thomas, do we have trivia tonight? We do. We have a fantastic trivia. I feel, All right, I hit think. us with the trivia. Hey, trivia! That tequila is starting to hit. Wow. Nice. All Just right. wait till the peanut butter whiskey. The joint the fray, yeah. yeah. The pate. But before I reveal the question, I have to ask you, uh, guys, is any one of you, by a chance, a gamer? No. No. It's Mario. I play Mario Kart. Kevin, I mean, Kevin is a limited. gamer. No, but it's specific. It's a very small window of what I'm interested in. Uh, uh, like, uh, yeah. Very small. All right, so I guess there's a chance that uh, that you will know an answer to this trivia sponsored wow. by the one and only Bad Rich. My son's a gamer. Maybe he knows. This. Oh yeah, maybe you can uh, ask him for help. So oh, the he's not gonna know this. question is: In spirit of NCAA football coming back, how many cover athletes for NCAA football video game went? To be drafted One, by Reggie the Saints. Bush. No, Ricky Williams. Oh, two, two oh, Reggie Williams. Williams. Yeah, Danny Werfel. I was thinking of. Was Werfel on the cover? He was, wasn't he? He was. That's two. Really? That's of three. That's great. Ricky yeah. Williams. Wait, Reggie, that's three. Wait, Reggie was on the cover and not yeah. Vince Young. Reggie was on the cover for sure. Okay, so then that's three. Yeah. I mean, that's about. Vince it. Young was on the cover, but that was the year he. Beat Matt Leinart, I think Reggie yeah, was the year, on before, the year before. Reggie, oh, was, Reggie on the was okay as a junior. Okay, yeah, shit. Yeah. So um, that's about it, though, because the Saints were trash in the nineties. Troy Davis was never on that. No, right. no, no way, Troy Davis. Um, well, maybe. Who are we forgetting? Uh, I'm gonna say three. Yeah. Are we I can't believe yeah, it's yeah. that many. Maybe let me help yeah. you. Uh, the last NCAA game was 2013. Was in two, yeah, 2013. Yeah. 
93 was the first one. And then coming out again now for the first time in 10 years. Yeah. Yeah. 11. I Wait, mean, what year did I'm, start? I'm just, not, I'm just trying to remember like the old yeah. guys that were on the cover. Like it went 20 years, really? Yeah. No, I, know, I remember Charles Woodson was on a cover. Oh, so Wendell Cavalier says what Mark Ingram was Mark Ingram on the cover? No, I don't think so. I don't think he was. No, no, Carson, he was. Carson Palmer definitely was. Yeah, yeah Palmer definitely. Um, with, I don't know. I don't think Jason White was ever on the cover, right? No. He got drafted by the Saints. No, 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 no. I'm trying to eliminate, like, years. Gotcha. Yeah. And Bodrich said the first player was in the 97. Before that, there 90s. was no player on the cover. Probably just... Uh, oh. Know. Right. Oh, then that would be... Let's see. Yeah, so, so it's only start. from 97 to 2013. Yeah. yeah. So, see, that would be worth... 97 would have been worthful because he won the Heisman and then the same draft. Yeah. And then 98... No, no. Was it 98 or 99 was Ricky? Ricky was 99. Okay. What year would have Reggie been? 2004. No. No, he no, would have been way after that. He says no, the first he person been 2003. on 2003. The... Yeah, Buttery says the first person on the cover was Bill Walsh cuz it cuz EA it transitioned it no, was right. before Bill it was, was Bill Bill Walsh fucking open me cheating. Yeah. Open me cheating. Are, are we Kyle sure Kyle Mark Kyle Ingram Kyle. wasn't on? The That's cover? the thing. I think it might be four. What year was Mark Ingram drafted? I'm pretty sure Mark Ingram was on the cover. Mark Ingram was not. Was he drafted in 2011? Yes. Really? Mm-hmm. Him and Cam Jordan. I, I think. I mean, I, I am positive on Ricky, Reggie, and Werfel. All three of them were definitely on the cover. Yeah. Um, and I, I think Ingram was. Yeah. I say I'm gonna say it's four. I'm gonna say four. Final answer. I'm sticking with three. I'm gonna Day. say three. All right, Thomas, what you got? Right, There's probably see. some fifth guy we're not thinking of. <laughs> There's no see. way. Right. No way. There you go. I'll so be Danny, Danny you cheated, Ronald, I'll give it to Ricky. you. Come on, man. Openly looking at the fucking chat. Come on, man. Whatever. I didn't look at the chat. I did. No, Ralph. Uh, Ralph did. did. Oh, Danny Werfel in '98, Ricky Williams in 2000, Reggie Bush in 07, Mark Ingram in 12. You know, I don't think I played the Mark Ingram game as much. That's I think in 2012, no. like I was out of college at that point, and I just, you know, so. Uh, yeah. The last one I owned was the was the cover that had the Texas Tech player on there, and I've kept that. What year was that? 60. I have no idea. I don't know what year the Texas Tech guy was. Well, they on went it. from so 20, 2013 was the last one, so it went from ninety seven to twenty thirteen with covers. That's what sixteen years of covers for the Ooh, Saints to have twenty five percent of the covers. Oh, that's shit. pretty strong. That's what NCAA I'm saying. That's crazy. football ten. Michael Crabtree was the cover. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh, he was the so they had four different F. So Crabtree was the cover or the cover guy for the Xbox 360. Mark Sanchez was the cover for the oh. PlayStation Portable. Oh yeah. Brian Arakpo was the cover athlete for the PlayStation Two, and Utah quarterback Brian Johnson was oh, the yeah. That's the one I had. Great Let's get Ralph and Kevin drinking. Your wow. boy Aaron right. with 28.4, so he's 10 wow. cents above you. Uh, Andrew, the new MVP need that. Wow. Wait, I'm down now? Yeah, we're $21.50 away. $21. He's so, ahead of me? Yeah. So yeah. go. go 10, cents. Uh, 10 cents. So Thomas, hit take it to the top. We're going to get to these questions. All right. Kevin, you know what would have been funny if the NCA would have put Mike Ditka and Ricky Williams on the cover in the wedding dress and the groom. Yeah, I would have liked that, but that they probably been. make. <laughs> don't they make these covers like before that? Yeah, that would have been awesome. Uh, Thomas, what's the first question you got for us? All right, amazing questions. Uh, first question. Oh, 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 what's that? 
That's Andrew donating again. Uh -oh. 2.83. Let's make this double shooter happen. And make he's yeah. again at the top. I guess Andrew really wants that uh, ticket. It might break Kevin. If Kevin does another shot, it might break him. I'm just All right. I'm throwing that out there. For, you, for me, but... Dude, Aldi Mourinho says I look like an usher at Joel Olstein's Lakewood Church. <laughs> <laughs> I want to start with something funny today. Uh, I want to start so, with something. So what you got for us, Thomas? Yeah, we are less than 40 bucks away, by the way, guys, from Ralph Ooh, and nice. Kevin taking a shot. That would be our first. first. All right. Uh, first question from Badrich. He asks, with OTAs disappearing and having more training camp days, will this be better or worse for development? That's a good question. Andrew, you know from film and scheme and all that. What do you think? I don't know. Dave, you go. <laughs> uh, I mean, my opinion doesn't come from any, you know, scientific standpoint. But I mean, like, you know, Ralph asked about developing. Like, I don't know. What are they doing in these OTAs that they can't just do? You know, this the, you know, the, the main camp. thing for me, selfishly, this kind of makes me sad because if they start training camp, Kevin, if they start training camp like June 10th, let's say, it will murder the world famous Saints Happy Hour summer bracket. Like it'll murder oh, it. Yeah. It'll murder it. Yeah. And yeah, I well, guess I guess I'll will I will say this. I do think that there's benefit in the younger players at OTAs and rookie mini camps getting some time to learn before the veterans get there. And then kind of having the perspective of the veterans getting there and then learning from them and then trying to catch up to what they're doing. But I think having that time, I, I think just going straight training camp, everybody, like, I think that's a lot of pressure on a young player that doesn't get like that slow yeah. and I'm, acclimation. And I don't there's think no, there's anything that says like you, the, the first week or two of training camp could be for, you know, rookies. And that's true. yeah. Like, I think it would be, I think Dave, I don't think it'll be practice like, like no. regular padded, I think it'll be like, yeah. they'll just like, all I think the they're OTAs just moving the OTAs end. to, you know, June. The, yeah. Yeah. You just get like a nice long, it, it'll be like, you get this nice long break and we're not doing anything. I think my, you know, I guess, I guess my concern would be is if you have players who aren't necessarily self-motivated and now you've given them a longer period of time with no practices and no reason to voluntarily, you know, reason to report or anything like that. Mm. Well, that's uh, the way it is now, right? Well, no, because they got to come in. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, wow. Matt's right. So you're giving them more, a larger block of period of time where they're Down on their the own. Match, fellas. There we go. Oh, here we go. Wow. Saints Rabbit, 40 Macaroni. Thanks, Rabbit. Thank you. Thank you, Saints Rabbit. Wow, he, he can be MVP leader. He can go up on the board. Could have, should have, would have. All right, so both of you are taking this, but we need individual. I like reports. this. I like this better. Uh, yeah, individual. Yeah, reports. Ralph, you go first. I, I hate Fireball. I almost bought the Fireball when I was at the uh, store. It's, dis it's disgusting. The whole bucket of Fireball, or just the yeah. one? Just the yeah, one. just a little. Lame. Ralph probably enjoys this. <laughs> the I, love, I love it when Ralph bangs on the table. I love it. <laughs> yeah. just, you know, Kevin, he, you got to be more animated like Ralph. Like you really, uh, last, the your last one was really. The schnapps unavented. is just not. God didn't make schnapps. The devil made all the schnapps and the oh, I missed fireball that. and the pepper. Oh, it's disgusting. Well, look, what's on the logo of Fireball? That, Ralph. Well, well, what's what's your rating? The devil. So that's yeah, that works out. <laughs> that's right. There you go. There you go. What's your rating? Uh, it's like a nine. It, I hate fireball. Nine? 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 It's, nine? it's I hate fireball. People, people only enjoy nine lately. People drink this for fun. Yes, they buy the yeah, whole funny. bucket. They we do need like to redo the golf, scale. Like golf tournaments, people uh, like to they they, uh, they do why? one every hole. They buy the why? whole bucket. You do one every it's hole. Like Dave Meltzer breaking his star rating scale. Oh, <laughs> all right. Uh, so I got the screwball whiskey. The cap is off. You might like this. Ralph's done this one before. It's good. Yeah, I think he hated it. Did I? Mm hmm. Well, Tell that. Like, he just says that. Ralph says he hates everything. Yeah. No, it's for the I show. It's for the show. No, I, 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 I some of them I like. Some of that around. 
Yeah, it. It tastes smells like, like peanut butter, right? No, it, like it does have a peanut buttery smell to it, mm -hmm. but I can't say what I'm really thinking. It smells like I'll have to tell you guys off air because it's really oh. gross, and I'm sure we would get Ooh. kicked off. Of Female fashion. anatomy parts. Oh boy. No. no. Oh, boy. Thomas, quick, do a quick scan of the 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 Twitch terms of service. <laughs> <laughs> All right, drink it. Come it on, smells, drink it. It smells Come on. like the one thing Ralph spray. doesn't do is take a sweet ass time. All right, well, you know, you want to cut to me, Thomas? <laughs> we just do it. I hope he's you vomit. Got, his, his lips are pursed. Ooh. Again, there's no noise. There's you take you know there's oh. no slamming. There's no banging. Oh, he's breaking. He's breaking them. Did, no, do you have, ye, do you have ye old chamber pot? Some no. of like the. Uh, what? What? Clean up them. Please. Clean out them sinuses. The like some the of the odor. The like, esters. The went, ethers. It hit like yeah. my nostrils. Like <laughs> my, I could feel like my nose hair <laughs> shaking or whatever. Wow. What's the score for that one? What's this? Yeah. yeah. Uh, this probably an eight. Wow. Worse than the first one. Wow. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. All right. Just, just the smell Sally, and the taste help. of it. Man, the next, smell and next the taste question. of it. That's next question. question. Amazing. Like next not, not as burn. It not didn't burn as much as the first one. But no. I hate is, the fact your girlfriend, that this is your girlfriend available to do these shots next time? I got to get a girlfriend first, fellas. Oh, we can make that work. <laughs> All right, <laughs> nice. uh, Thomas. Time? Thomas, let me tell you something. You submit this uh, next year for for yourself for, for the four. This is, this is your tour de force, whatever. Of, uh, <laughs> for of producer of the year, yeah, yeah. This is your tour de force of uh, you. You've been on on point tonight with all of the uh, the sound well, effects. Yeah, is that producer of the lot. year category, Ralph? I don't know. What's that? Is, well, is there a producer of the year category? The category? Yeah. We Dave need, Kevin's right? joined in on the shooting, so I feel like there's just you and me left now. With, yeah. And I want to say, <laughs> sign up, become a patron. We have Thomas, as Dave said, he was amazing this week. He's amazing every week. And by the way, we're going to do a live show this year, and we're going to sedate Thomas. We're going to get him in for Poland. If we have to, if we have to smuggle him, <laughs> if we have to get mules, in a box. We have to, in a box on a ship, whatever. We have to do it like or uh, or Mr. Juge is just going to fly in first class. You know, one or the other. Oh, either way, we the fishes. <laughs> and then we're going to then we're going to put his ass to work at the live show. Um, at the la labor next, camp, Ralph's labor camp. <laughs> no, no, no. Nope, I have Ralph, a joke. Not, I have a no, joke no that jokes. I can say, Kevin. Not but I'm not going to say it. I'm say not going to say it. Nobody say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Mute us all, Thomas. What's next? Wait, Thomas, uh, you've never been on a plane, though, is that correct? No, never. Okay. never. Uh, so you've obviously never been to the United States. I mean, Dave, would nope. you want to get on a Polish airline? <laughs> 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 the man is smart, if nothing else. <laughs> Thomas, what's next? Yeah, two, two quick questions from Ali Mourinho from the chat. Uh, first one, uh, will Thomas defect to the U.S.? Maybe. Uh, what would an Andrew shot look like? Some 24-year-old whiskey? He'd spend like, yeah. 10 minutes sniffing it, telling Move. us what notes there are. No, you know like, what? You know what I think? You know what I think Andrew should do? Chateau de Pap. Uh, yeah, a shot, a shot of champagne. Yeah, that sounds No, great. no. Well, I was going to say like a power hour of champagne, like one shot of champagne every no, minute. It'll be the ghost of Anthony Bourdain will appear and it'll be like Pappy Van Winkle and he'll like unlock it and it'll be like poured out into like a chalice. You have chosen wisely. Poorly. Yeah. So what else you got, Thomas? Wait, so wait, does Thomas need like a working visa or, or a green card or something? Like a no. temp green card to come into the country? Uh... No, 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 no. So then we don't have to pay him for what he, I swear whatever to God, work he Thomas, does here. If Border well, no, Patrol I mean, breaks I'm in single, and ruins the live I show, you'll never live it down. Green card. No, they lifted vis visas like uh, five years ago, I think. For All right, well, we're, we're, we're my, trusting you to do the research on this one. <laughs> <laughs> Your boy, Alan, says, I mean, you're smuggling me, ate, me in. How much Sam Ralph ate on, the man. jacket off? Your boy, Alan. What is the, yeah, what does the, take the jacket. What does the rest of the shirt <laughs> look like? Does that thing even have sleeves? 
No, it's barely. <laughs> barely. Oh, shit. I look. I look like I'm a. What you brand what? is that? What is it? What is the logo like a, on the left? Looks, like a pizza <laughs> season. Calvin Klein. Zoom in. Calvin Klein. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Calvin Klein. <laughs> no way. Show it. He's a okay. rich man's. He's a rich yeah. bowler. Calvin I'm Klein. like a rich bowler. Yeah, that is. <laughs> Calvin Klein. I'm like, you know what I, I look like? In pals. Without you the jacket, us, Dave. Calvin with C, not a K. Without, <laughs> without <laughs> the jacket, Dave, you know what I look like? I look like that middle-aged guy who watched one too many years of the Tour de France and takes his Sunday bike ride way too seriously. You that's, do. That, that's, that's, that's what that looks like. That looks like a bike outfit. That looks no, like a bicycle. We need to get, we need to get Ralph like a genuine, a genuine bicyclist jersey, like that yeah. skin tight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like whatever the yeah. hell that is. Yeah, I don't know if it's Lycra or that, whatever. Like, yes. Last just, five minutes of the show, Ralph. Pull, pull the zipper down. Let's, let's loosen it up a bit. Let's, for the people that have stayed with us. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Air it out. Yeah, no, no. Ship, so, spread, spread it out a little bit. So, Thomas, what's what's next? Spread it out. Let it breathe. Let That's it what breathe. he said. Yeah, let it breathe. Give us a little. Uh, come on. That's the man spreading right there. All right. Mm -hmm. Next question, also from Budrich. If TNT contacts Ralph to do another Saints incident, what would you want him to talk about? That's a great question, Tom, Andrew. Mm -hmm. Andrew and Kevin, you know Saints history. What would be a fun TNT rich and shameless mm -hmm. documentary to have me on again? No, just a documentary. Mm, I, I, would, I mean, if, I, I would enjoy like the first playoff win. Yeah, the team drops the ball. Yeah, if it's I, now that's that's if it's a documentary about whatever. <laughs> if it has to be about something controversial, then I would say <laughs> make it about the uh, the stolen Vicodin. wallet, the stolen wallet fiasco. Oh, our con. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Alden Mourinho says I look like an assistant man manager at Target. Um. No, the the correct answer. Tajay? The wait, correct. What? The wait, correct. Wait. wait. <laughs> wait did, were you, did you just say that like as a joke? <laughs> yeah. No, that's what people call it. Yeah. Tar people call it Tarjay. Yeah. No never way. Heard really? Oh, yeah. Shit. Tomas, Tomas, that's yeah. what bougie. Tomas, that's what bougie suburban white women call Target. If it was yeah. Target. Holy but shit. Here's, it is, it <laughs> is Target. Yeah. It yeah. is yeah. Target. Bougie suburban white women. Yeah. Are you, are you saying, Dave, that you, with, with complete confidence, you could yeah. say that when, when, when Ralph just said Target, I knew he exactly knew that the actual that. real name was Target? Yes. yes. You, yeah. you yeah. could say I, that yeah. with 100% yes. confidence. Yes. Yes. You are full yes. of shit. No, I am not. You're full of no, shit. I, I won't believe you. I mean, I got to go with Andrew on this one. I mean, I, I mean, I said it. I wasn't. A, I wasn't confident. <laughs> um, I would say the correct answer for me, if if they're going to do another documentary about the Saints, it's the 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 Saints' 1992 playoff loss to the Eagles, and it can get me canceled because I'll just be drunk and I'll just rage against Bobby Abair. Oh my gosh. But it's a way to go. It's it's a, it's the perfect way to end my. I would say they would they would never career. They would never do this. But no. like if they did a documentary about like the Saints media Jim landscape Mora. over the years. Oh, Jim Mora. Jim Mora deserves a documentary. And by the by the way, by the by, thank you for Jim Mora's birthday, which was last week. We I posted like the Jim Mora bracket. Oh, like I had like the mega did he cast. See it? It's like two and a half hours long, the audio only version. And that son of a bitch had 250 listens. So like you people were like going back and listening to that thing. It's two and a half hours long, but it's, I mean, the Jim Moore bracket is, it's, it, it's pretty amazing. Like that or the, the Drew Brees bad decision one. Those are pretty strong. I'm not that impressed by the number 250, but I guess at the same time, there are two. That bracket's old though, goes. Dave. We did no, that bracket. 250 of you wackadoos who That's wanted to listen to that pre again. Thomas. Thomas, how about how long you been with us? Was it that was pre Thomas? No, yeah, really, yeah, 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 oh, yeah. yeah. Jesus, easily, oh easily. What did that it, sound like? What, was the, it like 2018 or 19? How did you, how did you put it all? I, how did you put it all together into one episode if that was pre Thomas? <laughs> I, I, didn't. I, don't, I didn't even know that was possible. Took, took him one month. Took him one month. It took him one, <laughs> very, very carefully, Dave. And, and, and the audio quality, I'll just say, it's uneven. Not, sh yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. You think? <laughs> what? You think? What's yeah. next, Thomas? 
All right, next question from the MVP leader, Saints Rabbits. He asks, let's, let me switch one setting. All right, he asks, after today, how many of season injuries are we away from Ralph having a full on nuke the season panic attack? Was this question asked before? Passigno I guess news yeah. or after Passigno news. Wait, let oh, me, after let today. Me, Sorry. After today. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're, it depends on where the injury is, I guess, right? It was I mean, uh, asked 3 hours ago. Here's here's the thing. Here here's my rule for the nuke the season. I'm not going to say nuke the, they like Andrew, you're a good person to ask this to. Like if the Saints get past the midway point of the season. So let's say 17 games. If they're in the week 10 and they're a top five pick, yes, I'm nuking the season. But otherwise, otherwise, I'm not. Like, I'm not, I'm not, because here's the thing I'm, I'm going to spend two grand on the season tickets, a couple grand flying in back and forth, like parking all of it. Like, I'm not going to root for you're the not the no, that's not the okay, but you're like, you're not the normal, you and Andrew, neither of you are the normal fan. Like, I don't think there are that many people that live out of town, buy tickets, and like fly <laughs> yeah. in. No, Ralph, I mean, like that's Andrew true. doesn't even fly. Like Ralph, you fly in for a lot of you fly in for eighty percent of the home games. No, not anymore. I mean, probably like fifty percent, forty percent. Oh, fifty! Dude, Ralph flies in for like one more game than I do. Yeah. Well, I thought it was more than that, but it used well, to be. Yeah, but either way, but like you know, that, that's an added feel, expense that you guys feel have different, to different though, but it's actually still more Juge because Juge takes the Concord. <laughs> <laughs> Juge um, bought the Concord, he peeps it in his garage. Yeah, I, I mean I I this this season would be no different than any other. Like until they're eliminated from the playoffs, I would root for them to win the division and get into the playoffs any way possible. In some ways, like and winning the division this year, like I said, I'm probably as pessimistic as I've been since like pre pre Mora. I don't know. Like I I don't know that I've ever been this pessimistic going into a season. So if they were to do well and exceed mm -hmm. my expectations and win the division or sneak in the playoffs, mm -hmm. like I would be tremendously encouraged because I, I do feel like this is a, a rebuilding couple of years of sorts. Like I feel like we kind of have to now get through a couple of years and we'll either like be better than we expected, in which case, okay, maybe DA is not as bad as we thought or, and car is not as bad as we thought, or the bottom falls out. And like, we got to wait two years, you know, for DA to be fired for cars contract to be off the books. And then you got to rebuild from there. So if it's not as bad, like, I would be encouraged and excited about that. So I don't know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm not going to give up on the season until they're eliminated. I, that's that's always my answer. This yeah. is this is a different question, but similar, slightly altered. If Derek Carr specifically got injured in the off season before training camp, would that make you more, less, or equally as excited about the season? Kevin, that's a great question for you. Uh. Jake Hayner, Spencer Rattler, quarterback battle. I'll say, I'll say equally. You'd I'll be say equally, equally as excited. Because at that point, again, this is before training camp, you said, right? Mm -hmm. So at that point, I'm going in looking at it like, all right, screw it. We're playing with house money here. Jake Hayner versus Spencer Rattler. One of you two guys is going to win the starting job. Taysom mm. Hill is going to get a few more snaps, legitimate, legitimate snaps at QB, where it's not going to be an obvious run. Let's go. Like, buy in now, and let's just go. That's all. Kevin, we have an important question in the chat. Yeah. If you, if you wore my current shirt and jacket on a date, how long before she pretends to have an emergency so she can leave? <laughs> uh, if, if she sees it from, from the window from outside before she walks in, I don't even think she walks in. I think she no, tries to pretend I'm not that she's not the girl there for Kevin. Right. I'm like, not going to be wearing the jacket. I'm not you know, going to be wearing Kevin walks up to her and not making this up, but he goes, Lisa? And she's like, nah, nah, I'm, 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 I'm Brie. I'm, I'm Brie. 
<laughs> <laughs> I'm not wearing the jacket, though. I'm just wearing that. Chances are it's a day date. Uh, Between workouts. It's, like, it's just the zipper. Like, you couldn't get a normal fucking polo shirt. Yeah, I know. Jesus I know. Christ. I know. I know. The <laughs> zipper. What I the think fuck? she gives me. Who wears a I, fucking zippered polo? Why if did it, A. Oh. I, I mean, I'm mad at Selly for giving you that as one of your four options. I'm mad at, at three options. TNT for allowing. For, for what is that? It? Is that red or orange? I can't really tell. Is that red? red? It's red. Like, red. It was like a, gr- it's, it's a bluish. It was no, like a blue, gray blue, suit blue, orange. And, and a red polo. Gray and red. Like it just. It, so I'm mad at TNT. For deciding that that was the winning combination, you know I mean, what? Ralph I feel like, like I feel like fan. we need to see the other options. I feel like we need to see what they picked against and how bad that must have been. Well, I want to know what because he said they mixed and matched, so I want to know what that polo was supposed to get matched with, and then I want to see what the jacket. That's right. That's was right. Supposed to get I want to know just, what the gray jacket barrel and what what shirt <laughs> that was going to go with, and I want to know what, <laughs> what what the red shirt was going to go with, and why that all got blown up. And they're like, you know what? We're going to go with the red shirt and the gray jacket. So TNT Ralph, knows drama. It's one of two things: either TNT <laughs> is comically bad at what they picked, or the other options were worse. And I'm not convinced it's not number two. Yes. <laughs> hey, the new classics are on TNT. I don't know if the you've heard classic. that. And Ralph's outfit is a new classic. That's right. <laughs> Thomas, what, what's next? As in yeah, it's new, it. but it's going to take 100 goddamn years for it to feel like it's worth something. Oh, I'm, I'm surprised this look didn't go viral. I, I am too. Like, I'm, yeah. I, I was really, really, but all, all the kids will be wearing this next week. I was really surprised. <laughs> Ralph, the trendsetter. Ralph. Yeah, I was really back surprised, Andrew, up They didn't have the. They didn't use the video. The the part of me crying about Gleason, and I didn't become a Saints meme. A part of me is a little. I kind of wanted to see that. I like a little bit sad. You maybe. legitimately cried. I legitimately cried because Steve. The whole like 2006. And it makes me emotional, man. And I, 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 <laughs> oh, I get that. I don't blame you. Like for crying meme. I was just a tad bit disappointed. What Thomas? What's next? Uh, all right, before next question, I don't know how you missed that in the chat, uh, Aldi Mourinho. Ralph looks like a cool youth pastor telling the kids to save themselves from marriage, <laughs> like he did. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> and oh. also a quick question from Aldi Mourinho. Could you all wear this on the live show? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, no, <laughs> and you know why? Because I don't have a zip-up polo. We can get it. It's Maybe Jude can wear a bougie version. We'll go to we'll go to the Nike outlet on Carrollton on Carrollton Nike. and Tulane Avenue. Calvin Klein five at Home Goods. Yeah, we can all dress like we're coaching college basketball teams. <laughs> just wear khakis time? and just like clap a lot. That's right. All right, all right. Jesus. All right. Final question of the show from your boy Allen, the MVP contender. Your boy. Your boy. In light of Ralph Star making appearance on the Bounty Gate duck, if you knew you would get an honest answer, what one Bounty Gate question would you ask? Oh, that's a good question. Wait, who are we, who are we asking? Yeah, you're asking anybody. I, I would ask Sean Pamphilon. And I would say, who hurt you, Oh, yeah, you, bro? He, was not, he was not interviewed. <laughs> who hurt you, bro? A lot of people were not interviewed. Yeah. Him, Fujita, Will Smith, any of the main players. Oh, what? No one of the uh, main players. Cerullo. Yeah. Mm. That's a tough one. Who is Sally talking to? Her mother. Oh. The, uh, Spanish, the Spanish will come soon, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> that's when you. That's when you know you've gone to DefCon. When they're angry, when they, when, when, they, when, they, when, they, when she goes to Spanish, you got DefCon four, <laughs> and you got you got you got her talking to her mother, and you got the Astros losing. Oh no, Spanish, no! Spanish could come at any minute. Ralph, blink twice if you're safe. I, I would say, <laughs> uh, I would ask Goodell. Was that him yeah. trying to? I don't know if but, he yeah. had if the ledger actually existed. Well, you know he's oh. going to say yes. 
Nobody no, has no, he can't it. lie. He, he can't, can't lie. You would get an honest Wonder answer. Woman truth lasts yeah. all around, though. No, he can't lie. Wouldn't, you, can't. wouldn't you be more curious about, like, what were, like, the promises made in, in exchange? What do you mean, like... Oh, like, like, in exchange for intel, like, what did you agree to, you know... Oh, with Cerullo. Like, did you agree to give Cerullo a job? Although, I guess we know the answer to that is yes. Yeah. I mean, I'll be honest. <laughs> if, I, if I could get one question, I would want to be like, what, what did it take for you to buy the refs in the Rams game. I would want to know I would <laughs> want to know that yeah, more. Yeah, yeah. I would want to know the truth like I would just want confirmation that the refs indeed uh were bought and paid for. Were bought and paid for and cost the Saints a Super Bowl. Uh, I I would want that more than any bounty gate information, honestly. Kevin and Aldi Mourinho asked, "Did you order the code red?" Like that's the question. <laughs> I'm not gonna yell, brother. I'm not yelling that. I'm gonna blow my mic out, and I'm gonna start sounding like Dave from time to time. Um, no. I like. Did there's part know? of me. There's part of me that wants to say Greg Williams. Doctor Heat. There's part of me that. There's part Dr. of me that wants Dr. to like Heat. bounce around all, all the people around. But I, I, I want to. It's got to be Goodell for me. It's yeah. got to be Goodell. What would you ask, though? I don't. T- that's the thing is, I'm you know, not totally sure. But knowing that I will get, knowing I will get an honest answer, he has to answer honestly. He's I the think, guy to ask. I, I just don't think Goodell. The line of questioning with him would be that that interesting because I think he was just judge, jury, and executioner. I, I think Good- Goodell convinced himself. That it was the right thing that to do. That something happened, and he, and he was just like, we're going to punish this to the fullest extent. And that was it. Like, I, I, I don't think there's much yeah. mystery behind how he handled it. I this. do think an interesting question, if he had to answer truthfully, would be two, two maybe it's not like, only can I ask one, but these, I, I try to decide between these two questions. The first question would be, how much did you pressure the media to give your side of the story and not push back. Cause Florio was the only one that really pushed back on bounty gate, right? Like Peter King and Morton, oh, none of them, none of them pushed big back. Big bucket, big bucket carrier. And the other big question, bucket carrier. the other question I think would be really interesting to ask. Goddamn tub. Would be, Dave would be, how strongly did you pressure 80 whatever year old Tom Benson to fire freaking everybody. How much, how much, how much pressure did you lay on him to fire everybody? Cause, cause that's the thing. Those are, I, I don't, I don't like, I don't like those questions because uh, you can answer them. Th- those aren't like cut and dry. Yes or no questions. Honestly, like the question I would maybe ask. Well, we also know what the answer is to those questions. No, the well, question that you, I would, the question I that I would maybe ask, like to explain Sorry. Yeah. Well, I think the I question can't. I would maybe I would maybe ask, and I'm just thinking about it now, but like uh I would be curious about this. Uh do you know any other teams that are doing this that are like like do a pay for like a like this kitty this pool system? Like that's what I would want to know. Like oh. if, and that and if he asks, and if he says yes, then it's like that's my problem. Like if there's other teams that are doing it, if they're aware yeah. of other did teams you, that are doing you, it. Did you have like multiple options to go after and you yeah. say and you picked the Saints because they just had won the Super Bowl? Yeah, that helps. You know, like if uh, you're going against Philly or the Giants or the Dallas, but you were like, no, 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 no. We're going, what, we're right. going to the Saints because yeah. they just won the Super Bowl and it's the smallest market and it's easy. Well, they're just the easiest. Yeah. What I did, uh, that I was did really cut- that was really dumb of them to let Sean Pamphlin in that in the in that room. Yeah. It was dumber to yeah, say really Tom stupid. Benson and be like, take all the emails, you get whatever you need. Yeah, well, I, I think I, I think it was easiest to go after yeah. the Saints. Um, yeah. I uh, that that watching that documentary, it did force me to go kind of. Uh, it didn't force me, but it caused me to go a little bit down the old Downey Gate rabbit hole. And I was looking at some of the old stuff that I had on Canal Street Chronicles, and I forgot that I posted like all of the slides from the Google from from the PowerPoint oh, presentations right. that Greg Williams has. <laughs> 
And I just, I started laughing all over again about like, he had like the black font on the black background. Uh, I started laughing all <laughs> over again, just Rob, like did about you work just, for Doctor Heat. Or just something? like, just like, just just the uh, horrifically not, not, bad PowerPoint. Yeah, yeah, nothing having nothing to do with the actual content or substance of of uh, of it all. Just the actual like, oh my god, like really, people were people supposed to freaking read this uh, on a screen uh, in the meeting room? Well, let it's, me just say, Dave, your detective work back in the days uh, was strong. You, you, Columbo yeah, and, 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 and Law and Jack order. both are somewhere Quality. tipping their cap at you. Nobody. Well, that was the thing. It was like nobody. I was the only one who was like laughing at like the ridiculous power. Like they all these powerpoints. I think they were like part of like the. Uh, I don't know. I guess it was evidence or whatever, but it was disclosed. And but I don't. And no but if, and if you and if you Google like the Bounty Gate slides, like or Google slides, like. Uh, Oh, that's from Junior Galette. Yeah, no, I know that. Oh, wow. The collage. Yeah. No. Oh, that was easy. That was really easy. <laughs> Detective work. <laughs> yeah, that was easy. <laughs> well, I will say this about Bounty Gate. This yeah. podcast, we used to take like a, like a sabbatical after the season. Yeah, we'd, be like, we'd be like, hey, the season's over. We'll, well catch you. Let's take most podcasts. Let's take most we'll take, podcasts. We'll, we'll catch you when the draft comes back around. And then Bounty Gate happened, and we're like, God, we got to go every week. They got PowerPoint. They got Greg Williams. They got Pamphlon. Yeah. When we tried to call him live during the show, um, you know, the bounty, the bounty gate bird. So that was it, Thomas. That was the final question. Yes, sir. That's yeah. Correct. So give us a recap of the MVP roll call, which was amazing tonight. All right. Uh, amazing show, guys. Uh, tons of support. Uh, I think more than 10 different donators. Awesome. Tons of generosity. Ooh, yeah, yeah. The magical 20. That's what that TNT documentary appearance did. The magical $283 mark has been reached. We are on a 43 reached. week streak. Thanks to Bulldog Saint, to Badrich, to Purvey of Awesome, to Hudat Gopher, to Rage, to Wender Cavalier, to your boy Allen. <laughs> To Andre Juge and Andrei Juge. to the MVP, the <laughs> sixty-eight point three buckaroos for the first time this of season. Who is <laughs> the one and only Saints Rabbit? Congratulations! Thanks, Saints Rabbit. Yes. And by the way, Saints Rabbit. Remember to DM Thomas on Discord so you can yeah. tell us what to write on the whiteboard. Hatcha yeah. John did it last week. Coulda, shoulda, woulda. You can write whatever you want on the whiteboard and become as famous as me. That's, strong. That's a strong uh, Jim Mora reference, by the way. Is it? Jim Mora. Uh, I love him. He, I w Jim Mora, if you listen to this... I was on the TMT documentary. <laughs> I'm, a legitimate, I'm a legitimate media person. Come on the podcast, please. Hopefully he doesn't watch. Wait, wait. I'm sorry. The TMT documentary? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I, he yeah. definitely said TMT. I heard what, it. TMNT. Okay. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Thing? Whatever. Yeah, Jim Mora, he's refused to come Jim on the Mora's podcast. Jim Mora's going to see Ralph's outfit and be like, that's the least no. legitimate thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> That is fucking stupid. <laughs> actually, I don't know. Honestly, that's it's kind of. I could actually see that Jim Moore wearing something stupid. similar to that. Actually, wake up. But like at ninety years old, though. Right, right, <laughs> right, right, right. At ninety, otherwise right. yes. he sees it on somebody in his mid forties. Right. He's like, well, especially you. You know, it's it. Then it becomes. I mean. It makes me almost want to. Yeah. There we go. I mean, yeah. I'd, uh, Ralph, it looked like you showed up to Commanders and you didn't realize you had to wear a jacket, so they yeah. pulled one out yes, from the closet. That's what it looks like, 100%. <laughs> right. uh, some random it's dude's jacket it. that's a 42 long that doesn't fit right. you. Uh... Right. What do you mean I don't need it? My, my money's good. Why do I need to wear a jacket? I'll pay cash. Um, Jim Moore, he's rejected us on Cameo. He's rejected multiple interview requests. Like, he's never coming on the podcast. Um. But thanks for listening, everybody. Thanks for supporting Tanks Happy Hour. New listeners, you support the show. We can do more. We have Thomas. We do amazing work. You should join our community. It's amazing. Go to SaintsHappyHour.com. Become a patron and support the show. We can't do it without you guys. Thanks to Dave, Andrew, Kevin, Thomas running the show back in Poland. The best producer on earth. Remember, kids, if you're going to support the Saints podcast, you ought to support the one. 
that wins awards. Until next time, the bar is closed. R.I.P. Bill Walton.